hi ladies and welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to finally be back it's been forever so what are some ways that men test you look first of all what you need to understand is if you don't sleep with him you have the power if you get into a relationship with him he has the power the reason why he has the power is because you're you're going to be so busy trying to get him to meet your emotional needs and on top of that you're going to be so busy trying to get him to see that you're worth marrying you get what I mean? And this is kind of going to cause a problem because while you're stuck being faithful to only him, if you do end up finding out that he's cheating, there's no consequences. As for example, if you were to be married to him and you caught him cheating, at least you can walk out of that marriage with some kind of money. But if you're in a relationship, and a lot of people are in relationships today for two, three, four, five years, even more than that, once they find out that, hey, we're not compatible or, hey, you know, um, you've been cheating nothing happens to him you've wasted your youth on this guy and like for what the only way a woman can honestly gain her power back when she's in a relationship or in marriage is if the man has fallen in love with her and he's become attached to her and re reality is that all men are going to test you it doesn't matter even once you're in a relationship even once you're in marriage i'll get into it but basically even the ones that say oh testing is immature i'm not about that they test you as well it's just that each test has a different intent. For example, let's say he's a player. If he's a player, usually these type of men are very easy to spot. They test you on how desperate you are, how much crap you're, you're going to take just to keep him around. Um, for this type of man, honestly, every woman has a purpose that serves him. So he, he'll just look at you and he'll decide, okay, what is she able to give me? Um, and these tests always include like how weak you are, your... Um, they will try to figure out your expectations about the man that you want in your life as well. And what he can get away with, basically. He wants to see how easy you are and whether you're easy to manipulate and use. Now, the next type are the ones that have been hurt, cheated on, or used. Or they've heard stories about their friends or family that have been hurt, cheated on, used, lied to, I don't know. But these guys are the worst and in my opinion... It's best not to start off with dating them if you've known all these things about him and you see that he's difficult or has mad trust issues. The smarter way to play is by friend zoning him and just showing that you come with good intentions because when they start off right away with dating women, they have with so much trust issues. Like, it's insane. I'll kind of get into it, but basically it's better for them to see you as how you are as a friend because usually when we're friends with people... They tend to tell the truth, so you can let him pull out all his like problems to you, but you can lie and say, oh my gosh, look at me, I'm innocent. That's basically what I'm saying. Like, Don't jump straight into dating because the thing is, is if you date these kind of men, they are so afraid of it happening to them again. Um, and they get extremely defensive when it comes to commitment and being used. Their tests are obviously going to be figuring out what's wrong with you and why they should remove you as a suitable mate. So because he's still been hurt in the past or he's still hurt today, he's not going to be ready for a relationship. His tests are going to run on like validating his beliefs that all women are cheaters, users, liars. Like it doesn't matter how many tests you've passed. He's constantly going to think, no, she's this is who she's going to be. I need to figure out what's wrong with her. You get what I mean? It doesn't matter how good you are. He's going to constantly think that there's something wrong with you. It's better for you to start off as friends date other people don't tell him you're dating other people try not to get caught at least and try to come off as somebody who's completely against lying completely against cheating and it will work trust me and then there's the best type of men out there and those are the type of men that just want to find a woman they can settle down with their tests are super simple they just want to know your expectations and if he can meet them mentally emotionally physically financially and sexually so I would have to say that the first one is, do you recognize game? Do you recognize manipulation? And these are the kind of things that you don't want him to know that you recognize it. The dumbest thing a woman can do, because I swear these women, they read all these Instagram posts, watch these YouTube videos. Now they think they're like geniuses of manipulation. And as soon as a guy throws tests in them, because usually when a guy tries to manipulate you or throw tests at you, I'm telling you, they're going to be very obvious. And once he knows that you're catching up to them, it's going to create somebody 10 times more sneaky. Because so many women, they... 
I guess because they know like these little su- stupid tricks that guys play. So instead of just playing along with it and actually getting it to their favor, they're, g- they're going to try to show off how smart they are. And they're going to be like, oh, I know you're playing these games and I know you're playing these manipulation tactics on me. Why would you do that? Like now you're just creating somebody who's 10 times more sneaky. It's like catching a cheater and then telling him, hey, I know you've cheated. Like, of course, he's going to be a lot more sneaky next time he cheats. And now it's going to be actually hard for you to catch up. These guys will test you. Are you easy to manipulate? Listen, if he's trying to manipulate you into getting into bed with him a lot faster, play along. Show him that you're not easy. You know that he's testing you. Don't tell him, I know you're trying to test me and see if it's easy for me to like sleep with you. Don't do that. Because now his tactics are going to be 10 times better. Trust me, if they notice that you're catching up to the game, they'll be sneakier and they'll be smarter. I'm not saying go act stupid. I'm just saying don't show people how smart you are. The next one is do you stand up to your standards and your boundaries? Because a lot of you are saying, I would never accept a cheater. And then once he cheats, you stay. Just so you know, you look stupid. Like you should have your things where, of course, they're going to try to figure out what crosses the line for you. And if you say that cheating crosses the line for you, then you better leave. Because I promise you, if you tell him that you will never accept a cheater and that crosses the line for you and then he cheats and you stay, in his eyes, you're always going to be a joke. And you best believe that he's going to cheat on you and he's going to mistreat you because he knows that he's able to cross your boundaries and your standards. And this is also why I say, like, don't bring up your past to men because if you're going to start telling them, like, oh, yeah, well, I got, you know, cheated on and he lied to me and he manipulated me and he gaslighted me and I was with a narcissist, And I stayed with him for like, I don't know, the X amount of years. Don't be surprised when the guy treats you the exact same. Like, it's true. I'm telling you. I even heard like some guys tell me that um, they try to figure out what women would do for other men. For example, if you start telling him that, um, yeah, so me and my ex, when we lived together, it was so miserable because I did everything. I paid for everything. I cooked everything. Believe, you best believe. Like, I'm telling you, your current boyfriend that's listening to that, he's gonna want what that man had. He's gonna be like, oh, well, you really loved him and you stayed with him even after he mistreated you. Now your current man wants you to pay and now your current man wants you to cook. Why would you cook for that guy but not for your current man? That's not fair. Why would you let that guy do you in the butt, but you won't let this current man do it? That's why you never, ever bring up the past. Because that's just how it works. Listen, it's selfish, it's wrong, and I don't think that they actually do this on purpose. It's just kind of that, it creates that kind of jealousy, like, oh, you did it for him, well, I wanted to. If you heard a guy tell you, yeah, well, you know, my last girl, like, I paid for everything, and I felt like I've been used, but I still stayed because I felt like she loved me, but I just couldn't understand... You're going to listen to that and you're going to be like, well, for her, you paid for everything. Why Why should I go 50-50 with you? You've paid everything for her. I want that too. That's just how it works. But I'm getting off topic. But you get the point. That's also another test, by the way. So yeah, honestly, going back to what I said, standards and boundaries, like, do you keep them? Because they will test you. If you're going to tell them that this is your standards, like, they will, will try to see how you react. Are you going to let them get away with it or not? Because if you do... You're going to get played. That's all I'm going to say. Another way they test you is by figuring out how honest you are, the type of person you are, your mindset, your opinions. Um, And if you can be trusted around friends, family, and other men. And usually they do this by bringing up stories. They'll bring up stories about, I don't know, like, what's something that I had? I've had a lot of, (laughs) I've had guys telling me a lot of crazy stories. I remember this one where it was like, he told me there was this woman who was uh, with his friend. They married. She had his child. Then he, the man lost the money, I guess, um, lost his job. So she went off and cheated or whatever. And then she decided to get a divorce and leave for another guy who was more successful. Now, <laughs> some women would have replied to that story and been like, well, you know, it's been hard and she has to take care of the child. So she has to find a guy who, who can take care of it or she wasn't happy. So it's OK for her to cheat. You get what I mean? So obviously, the, th- these are the things that they're looking for. They're trying to see your reaction, how you react to um, stories where somebody has been lied to, cheated on, you know, used. Um, and you just have to be dramatic and be like, oh, I can't believe people like that exist. You know what I mean? So 
Yeah, that's another test that they're going to give you. Ladies, before you jump into my DMs and say how, you know, this is so wrong and people shouldn't play games and people should go with the flow. I think people who don't do tests, first off, I believe that everyone does them even when it's not planned out. But let's pretend that there are people out there who are so amazing, who never do tests. Those people usually always get effed over. People usually do tests even without purposely planning them out. It just comes out where you're like, hmm, let's see. Like, people will always test you. You need to understand that the world is not fair. Learn these tricks and just arm yourself. Most men, their first test is to see how stupid you are and what he can get out of you with little to no effort or commitment. That's obvious. Now, the second test is already once he caught feelings. Once he has serious feelings for you, he's attached to you. He wants you now to increase his security and believe that you're the right woman. This is exactly why I said from the beginning is that these tests never stop. Now, in the beginning, usually you get the most tests where he really tries to figure out who you are and it eventually slows down, but he's still going to continue testing you. And yeah, maybe some of you are like, oh, but we're already married and obviously the test had to stop there. I passed them. No. Husbands still get insecure when they think that you're cheating, so they're going to test you. When they think that you're about to leave, they're going to test you. Just like husbands who already cheat on their wife. And they watch if she's going to stay. That's also basically testing the person. Another test they do is saying like rude comments. Um, and basically they watch if you let them slide. Like, you know, basically saying unnecessary comments about your body. Especially things that you can't control. Or in general, just like rude things. And a lot of women for some reason like don't know. like, Or they don't know or they don't feel comfortable to stand up for themselves. But... If you're put in that position and you let it slide and you're trying to laugh it off, it's going to continue. And basically, it just leads to verbal abuse and manipulation. Like, letting these things slide just shows him that he has more power over you and that you like him more. The next one is ghosting you, which is obvious. They try to figure out, well, they try to see how you respond. They check your level of neediness and insecurity. And the way you respond to this is honestly, well, either convince them to leave you or they're going to use this to control you and gain more validation out of you next is ordering you around and it's very obvious when a guy's trying to order you around okay he's going to be very rude very blunt very straightforward with it um yeah he basically tells you what to do gives you orders and this can involve with you know sex cooking cleaning you know instead of him getting up and just heating up his food he tells you like grab my plate put it in the microwave or it's sad that I even need to explain this. Like, I hope that most of you know when a guy's trying to order you around. Because if you fall for these things, I'm telling you, it just shows how weak and desperate you are. And it also shows him whether he has control over you. But yeah, like, if you're just, like, sitting and he's like, yeah, you know, like, suck me off right now. Like, he's ordering you around. And if you fall, if you, if you just let that slide, like, I, I have no words. Like, I think that's sad. I've heard many women. I've never run into a man like that, but I've heard many women who deal with that and it's just sad one every woman has experience is basically to test how easy you are um early in their relationship they try to get sex out of you they invite you into their house and if you smash you're out of the dating pool very simple i mean yes i've heard of people saying um oh i had a one night stand and now we're in a relationship or now we're married congratulations those women like even though you hear those stories yes there's exceptions and everything but those women might not be with the type of man that you want in the type of relationship that you want so just because you hear people saying good stories about smashing a person on the first night does not mean that they're in that happy ending um next is they will say sexual things and they watch if you're gonna engage they try to figure out where your boundary is and in my opinion like if you're uncomfortable like don't do it and honestly the one thing i hate is when a lot of you read these books and all these women saying, yes, you need to seduce and stuff. And yes, eventually you will need to get to that stage. But I don't suggest doing it right in the beginning. Actually get to know this guy and make sure that he is about what he says he's about. Because here you are entertaining a guy sexually seducing him. And then finding out he rented that car or he lives with roommates. You get what I mean? Like, get to actually know the person and make sure you know who it is that you're targeting. Before you start, you know, acting all sexual and stuff. Like, put your boundary there. And if it makes you uncomfortable, leave. Like, you don't need to entertain these people. They got plenty of other women who are desperate who will do it. They're, they'll keep you around. Trust me. It's better to gain his respect than to seduce him and just gain his, like, his dick's attention, basically. 
Um, next one is he asks you to send him a picture. And this is how they test how into them you are. So they'll be like, you know, those annoying guys who ask you to send them a picture. I swear to you, there are women out there who will literally run to their bathroom, sit on the counter. You know, when they turn to the side to make their butt look bigger and then they take a picture. I mean, pe- people still do that. People send nudes and booty pics that aren't even asked for. If you if you send nudes when they're not even asked for, like, I, I have no words for you. That's so stupid to me when there's women out there getting paid for nudes. And here you are sending nudes for free. Like, what are you doing with your life? I don't even care who I offend right now. That's so sad to me. He never asked you for nudes. What are you sending nudes for? And even if he does, get his money. What are you doing that for free? Oh my gosh. The amount of women I remember in my life that I found out that they just sent a nude without even being asked for it is just... But they were like... They weren't like women that actually... There were usually desperate women. There were women who usually can't get many men and they know that themselves. But regardless to me, it's sad because honestly, even those women who can't get men, men are always willing to pay for nudes and feet pictures and all that stuff. I never, ever, ever understood how a woman, like how a guy can tell a woman to send a picture and she's running to send him nudes, booty pictures, sitting on the counter And, like, I can only imagine, like, women usually when they take pictures, they take, like, 50 pictures, 100 pictures until they find the right one with the perfect angle. You're doing all of that for a guy for free? Like, I don't care. Even if you don't get men for validation, you're, like, what? I just, I, I can't understand. And I probably, I never will. I'll never understand next one and i mentioned this a lot it's basically feeding you the words that you want to hear they act like the men you want to see you want to be with and they tell you stupid things like oh i'm already catching feelings you know and it's only been like two dates um instead of actually showing you with their actions you know like they, they'll just tell you what you want to hear uh feeds you words that you want to hear they pretend like they can fulfill a fantasy that you have for example they start telling you that oh you're so wife material um i'll marry you one day we'll have kids um tells you that he's going to be able to help you pay your bills he's going to pay for a vacation in the future basically anything he needs to say to get your legs to open um a lot of women fall for this thing and i think that this is like a common thing and this is a hard one because a lot of women yes we fall for what we hear because we want to believe it we want to believe in people and believe that this is actually true but it's life that's how it is and especially after marriage like let's say you guys got married one thing that a lot of men do is they add more time to their promises so i don't know let's say he promises to fix something i don't know something that needs to be fixed or maybe you guys need to go to i don't know couples council or whatever they're called so be like baby another two months two months pass baby give me another month basically he keeps asking for more time to be added on and that's more time added on and here you are just waiting for it to finally happen same thing happens when you're in a relationship and a guy is promising to marry you one day baby give me another six months six months pass baby i need another six months i just you know like things are a little bit difficult right now with my job give me another six months now he added another six months you get what i mean so the the little things like that Another way to test you is by seeing if they can keep you as a side option. They'll go days without talking to you. You guys could be dating for months, but they haven't, you know, introduced you to any of their friends, family. And you haven't even been to their house. Usually these kind of men are always taken. They already got a girl. They got a main girl. So you're trying to see, is she going to react? Is she going to leave? Is she going to stay? This is you, basically. They're trying to see if you're going to stay. And if they can keep you as a side option. And married men do this too. They'll honestly just straight up tell you like. They'll tell you they live with someone. No, they'll tell you they have a girl. They'll tell you that she maybe understands what's going on. And she understands that they're having an open relationship. But really she doesn't. Or he'll tell you like I'm only there for the kids. Or you know we haven't been sleeping together. It's been hard. You know these are usually lies. Even if they're true. The woman usually doesn't know that he you know. Is doing his thing on the side. And. He's trying to see if you'll accept that, if you'll accept a married man. And it's basically another way of testing you if he can keep you as a side option. And these type of men, I've always said to just avoid, even though I see so many YouTubers saying like, 
yeah go for them and telling their stories about how they took him away from another woman listen these men they're gonna cheat on you too like don't think you're ever special and these men when they tell you that they have a girl and you're still with them they don't trust you either they're gonna cheat on you they don't trust you uh because you honestly you entertain them and while you're busy trying to convince him to leave his wife he's busy hiding his wife from you like it's just those are the kind of men i just i have no energy to entertain i say those men are to be used and left like do not ever think that they have husband potential because they're going to go through the same cycle anyway and now another thing that i want you to understand is that i know some families where the woman is married to a rich man and she knows that he has a sugar baby on the side and she's more than happy that he has a sugar baby on the side and this is not me making fun or attacking sugar babies but most wives who are married to these rich men don't even want these men they just want their money and it makes them happy that they get most of the money and then he has a sugar baby on the side that he uses up so basically he gives the sugar baby a small sum and she does all the sexual things while the wife doesn't have to do any of the sexual things do you get what i mean so this is kind of another reason why you'll see a lot of these wives staying because i'll some i'll have a lot of women asking me like well why how come when these women find out that they have sugar babies and they have all these other women like don't they care like usually no because these women do check up on how much money he spends on her and how much he spends on the sugar baby and usually like i don't know maybe 85 percent of the time i don't know but usually it's it's he gives a small sum to the sugar baby and most of the money goes towards the wife so in, in general it's like having a sugar baby for the wife is like having a maid she's doing the things that the wife doesn't want to do you get what i mean so yeah it's also another thing to keep in mind a lot of women are actually okay with these things the test that men do is um this is usually exes but they know that you got a man and they pretend to not care so they promise to give you like a good time and the thing is that men are always in competition with other men so exes they just want to believe that they're better than the man that you're currently with so obviously if your ex comes in and you got already a man he sees that you got a man yeah they just they, they just pretend like they don't care and they're like come on like we can give you a good time stuff like that they just want to see they just want to feel like ha, i'm still better than him look at her she's still coming to me if you guys remember earlier in my video, I talked about how guys bring up stories to see your reaction. So I had this one guy who gave me a great story. He told me, so basically they had this gym. This is a guy that I dated. He had this gym that he created with his friends and they had a lot of clients there. So they were doing pretty good. And basically his friends, they're all married. But what they wanted to do is that they wanted to bring women from the gym, basically pick up women from the gym, bring it to his house, the guy that I was dating. And smash with those women there so their wives don't find out now this guy's telling me this and i'm just listening and i'm looking at him and i'm just like i get the idea he's trying to make it look like because afterwards he told me he's like i can't believe that they're doing that like it's just horrible and i just don't want to give them the house because it's just wrong and they have wives and i'm just looking at him and i'm just like first off i don't even know if your story is real or not but i can believe it because yes i've heard plenty of men who have side chicks or whatnot but like First off, what happened to bros before hoes? You just threw your friends right under the bus telling me all of this. And this is literally like the only like what second date that we've had. And second, like. Why would I trust you when you hang out with these kind of people? Like, I just want to know because he's trying to paint this picture of, wow, look, all these men are evil. I'm innocent. Like, look at what they're doing. They have side chicks. But look at me. I'm so against it. When really, I was looking at him and I was just like, you hang around all these evil men, you must be just like them. Next is that stupid threesome orgy test. Listen, I don't care how many TV shows, movies there are about this and how they try to make this into a norm. Once the fun is over, this ruins your relationship. Men, literally, if you agree to this, men will start tripping out about... Basically, what that woman might be doing behind his back, since she's already been doing that all in front of his face. He'll never fully trust her. I'm telling you, like, you might think that this is not legit. I'm telling you, I've heard plenty of women who agree to it. And now their man is walking around with trust issues. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. 
if you see this guy seriously, don't be agreeing to threesomes and orgies. It's going to ruin your relationship, I promise. Next is a test if you have other options, which means if you have other men who want you, who might have a chance with you, and you should. Because if you don't have other options or you don't make him believe that you got other options, they will get comfortable. And unfortunately, with men, they need competition to appreciate winning you over. So that's very important. So this test is obvious, and this is a gold digger test, which is the stupidest one. Um, it's taking you out for a free date, where they try to take you out on the to the park or something. Now, if it's the first date, cancel. If it's the second date, cancel. Third date, maybe. It depends, as long as you know for sure that he's a good target. This one's an easy to pass. Listen, I don't see any problem. Like, if it's a free date, and I know that he's a good target, I know he has the money... I'll play along with this. I can go on a free date to the park for like an hour or two after I go. Like, I will do it after a date. Maybe I would go for a date with a guy who has money. And while I still have my makeup and dress on, I'll invite the free date over. The one that's trying to get a free date by the third date or something. Just to show him that I'm such a good girl and I'm not a gold digger. Um, This one's very easy to pass. But some girls honestly don't see it even worth their time. So, even girls who are not even looking for money. Like, this is a stupid thing. Like... They think that if they take you out on free date, it can show them if you're a gold digger. It really can't. But whatever. Um, another one is like where they try to offer you to do... Fi- like they want to see if you're going to offer to do 50-50. This test, fail it. Don't even bother. Because honestly, even if he goes on a date with you and you never offer to do 50-50. And then he goes on another date with another girl who is going to offer him 50-50. He's not going to choose the 50-50 girl over you. Okay? If he likes you more... He just likes you more. It doesn't matter. He might try to manipulate you or convince you to do 50-50. If he truly wants you, he's not going to bother. He might try to manipulate you to do 50-50 and then you tell him no and then he comes back around and says, you know what, okay, I'll pay full. But I'm just telling you right now, he's not going to choose you over like doing 50-50. Yes, he might get happy about it, but like I, this is a test that I prefer to fail because once you do 50-50 it becomes a habit like they start expecting it from you so i would i would just not bother i'll fail that one i don't care i'll even talk to them about it i'll be like Mm-mm, i don't pay i don't care the last two tests that i'm gonna share are less common but still surprisingly there is quite a lot of men who do them and it's basically when they flirt with women in front of you to test your jealousy this is a stupid test any guy who's doing this like i'm telling you i've had guys who flirted with me in front of their girl And I promise you, once the girl turned their back around or walked away, they had no problem going further. And they'll have no problem going further with other women too. Any guy who does this test, fail it. Don't show jealousy, don't show anger, simply just stop talking to him. Because I can't, I'm telling you, a guy like that who does this stupid test on me, like, you're embarrassing me. I don't want to call you mine and I don't want people thinking that you're mine and here you are embarrassing me in public. Like that, just like, no. I don't play that game, I don't even bother talking about it, like... When someone does something on, something on purpose, I know. And we don't need to act like we're 12. Like, we both know what's going on. So I'll just leave. Um, another one is where they try to bring, like, a friend around you who, like, maybe is more of, like, a flirty type. See if you're entertaining him. And basically, they want to see if you're going to tell him about, that, like, about the situation. Like, you know, I've had this one guy tell me that he made his girl go home. He basically asked her to go to his house to pick something up. And then he made another friend come during the same time. To pick something up and he told her about it long story short that friend started flirting with her and he wanted to see how she'll react if she's gonna flirt with him or not all that stuff and he told me she passed because she ended up telling him everything that happened and she didn't entertain it so apparently there's guys who do this too now um so yeah listen these are most of the common tests that i've heard out of men and I'm sure there's plenty more that I didn't mention, but these are the most common types, so hopefully most of them you already know. Um, And yeah, so that's it. Thank you all for listening and love you all.